Samsung Pay, we have uh, three core value propositions. One is simple, second, secure, and third is virtually anywhere. On the simpleness, is we worked on uh, many different tactics to make sure that it is very convenient user experiences. So just a swipe up from the phone and an authenticate and a pay. On the security, which is non-negotiable, we actually uh, created three different pillars to create the security on Samsung Pay. One is tokenization, second is a biometric, and third is a Samsung Knox. Samsung Knox was a platform that we built even earlier than Samsung Pay. So using uh, techniques like uh, warranty bits and also remote wiping capability like Find My Mobile, we actually brought very secure um, container and then architecture for Samsung Pay to start using the solutions for the consumer proposition. Thirdly, on the virtually anywhere, we use a technology called NFC, as well as MST, which is Magnetic Secure Transmissions. So combining those two, we made it available that Samsung Pay is available in Contelex terminals, as well as a regular terminal, you know, POS terminals that you can just swipe a, tar swipe a car. You're able to access Simple Pay just by swiping up and instantly access your card and select which card you want to use. Authenticate with your fingerprint and then tap to pay. MST was a specific technology that we acquired from a company called Lupe. Um, and that particular technology was giving a uh, breakthrough uh, innovations. And what we did is just taking the technology and into our phone and make sure that our phone can be used as a payment instrument. But what that will allow us to do was that just uh, basically all the existing POS terminals that we have it out there, without those POS terminals being upgraded, we can start actually making the mobile payments. So at the end of the day, it will just give us a much more ubiquitous locations that we can actually make mobile payments accepted. Very specifically in Singapore, uh, we heard that mobile payment has restrictions of up to 100 Singaporean dollars per transactions to, to be limited, right? Uh, with uh, working with the banks and associations, we looked at MST, we looked at what the security that we are bringing. So associations of the banks were collectively agreeing that we don't need that limit on our MST transactions. So they lifted that restriction so any Samsung Pay users on MST, they can transact up to whatever the limit they have on the credit card. We're gonna bring additional value added services such as transit, membership cards and whatnot. So all those things combined uh, will actually give more reason for users to use Samsung Pay. We are coming up with a lot of different uh, promotions and the benefits for them to use. I mean, basic benefits like a convenience, easy to use, secure, on top of that, Together with our partners, such as banks and merchants, we are coming up with various different um, benefits that could be either monetary or whatnot, could actually give a lot of fun experiences for the users.